This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. Passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. When Jesus saw his ministry drawing huge crowds, he climbed a hillside. Those who were apprentices to him, they committed, climbed with him, arriving at a quiet place. He sat down and taught his climbing companions. This is what he said. You are blessed when you are at the end of your rope. With less of you, there is more of God and his rule. You are blessed when you feel you have lost what is most dear to you. Only then can you be embraced by the one most dear to you. You are blessed when you are content with just who you are, no more, no less. That's the moment you find yourselves proud owners of everything that can't be bought. You are blessed when you have worked up a good appetite for God, His food and drink and the best meal you will ever eat. You are blessed when you care. At the moment of being careful, you find yourselves careful. You are blessed when you get your insight well your mind and heart put right then you can see God's in the outside world you are blessed when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete a fight that's when you discover who you really are and your place in God's family you are blessed when your commitment to God's provokes persecution the persecution drives you even deeper into God's kingdom. Not only that, count yourself blessed every time people put you down or throw you out or speak lies about you to discredit me. What it means is that the truth is too close for comfort and they are uncomfortable. You can blink that. When that happens, give a cheer even. For though they don't like it, I do, and I'll have an applause. And know that you are in good company. My prophets and witnesses have always gotten into this kind of trouble. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 to 12. Today is the Feast of All Saints. In the medieval England, the feast was known as All Hallows Day, which is why its eve is still known as Halloween. Who are these saints? Whom are we celebrating today? As saints, do they refer to individuals who lived a heroic Christian life while on this earth, witnessing Christ and his gospel, and now, after their deaths, live in the presence of God in heaven? In this case, a saint is necessarily someone who is dead. But the history of the church teaches us something different. After the death of Jesus, the Jews called the followers of Jesus in a derogatory way the Galileans, the Nazarenes, the Christians. It indicated that a group of people who followed a Galilean who had ended up on the cross, condemned by the religious and political authorities. But among the believing community, they did not call themselves Christians. They called each other the brothers the believers, the disciples of the Lord, and those of the way who followed the path of Jesus of Nazareth. They called themselves the saints. That's why when St. Paul wrote his letters, he always addressed them to the saints, 
to the saints who are in Philippi, to the saints who are in Colossae, and to the saints who are in Rome. He was not writing to the saints in heaven, but to specific people who lived in Ephesus, Corinth, and Rome. We will have to return to this language to become aware what it means to belong to a community called to be holy. A saint, therefore, welcomes and commits to living the proposal of man made by Jesus of Nazareth. On the feast of all saints, we are united, therefore, not only with the saints of the liturgical calendar, but also with our next-door saints, our relatives and acquaintances. This is the feast of all of us, a holy occasion to increase our faith and hope. The gospel says, blessed are the poor, while the world believes, blessed are the rich. The gospel says, blessed are the meek, while the world claims the proud as blessed. In contrast to the world that tempts us to seek pleasure and comfort, Jesus declares the pure in heart to be fortunate. In his homily on the Feast of All Saints in the year 2020, Pope Francis called on the faithful to follow the virtues of the gospel in contrast to the ways of the world and thus bear witness to Christian hope. The feast day reminds us of the personal and individual vocation to holiness. The Blessed Virgin Mary is called the Queen of all saints and our mother teaches everyone how to follow her son Jesus. May our mother Help us nourish the desire for holiness, walking the way of the Beatitude.